the horror genre. Now guys, if you don't know, I love horror. Movies, games, the occasional story or two, but not all at once. Don't want to get too spooked now. So one thing I'd like to make note of is there are a lot of various tropes in the horror genre. And specifically, I want to talk about one today. Let's talk about teenagers in horror. Now, I know a decent amount of my audience consists of teenagers, so I can say this without ease. Uh, obviously, you guys will understand it. So most teenagers in horror movies and video games die. Because let's face it, teenagers in horror movies and horror games are written to be these clueless kids who will do the dumbest shit in the face of a killer or the invisible face of a spooky ghost. But what if I told you that Night School Studios wrote a horror game that made the teenagers look smart and earnest? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Oxenfree. Oxenfree is a supernatural thriller about a group of friends who unwittingly open a ghostly rift. You play as a young woman named Alex on her way to a decommissioned military island with her childhood best friend, Ren, and brand new stepbrother, Jonas. The night takes a terrifying turn when she and Jonas unwittingly open a ghostly rift spawned from the island's cryptic past. Now, the first thing I have to say is Oxenfree has got several things really going for it. Number one, the dialogue is crisp and constant. Where most games about teenagers have dialogue written in a certain way where it comes off as cheesy, like say, life is strange, Oxenfree's dialogue is very integral to the story in developing the characters and fleshing out the world around you. It's a good horror game because of this fact. It takes the main characters who are teenagers seriously. I'd like to think that it's almost like a spectral freaks and geeks. It also feels very real. Like, the interactions and conversations Alex has with her stepbrother or her friends are very natural. It flows very well and with multiple ways to react, the conversation can go in any way whatsoever. The only downside to that is in my experience, I noticed that you can accidentally interrupt conversations, which sucks because I actually like really listening to the dialogue in Oxenfree. Which leads me to point two. The voice acting in Oxenfree is really what makes the game. There's a decent cast behind the microphone on this one, a majority of which are Telltale Games alumni, which is pretty awesome to hear. Each member of this cast really made their character their own. Like, legitimately their own. And the music? Oh my god, the music is good. Scientific, scientific, the fucking thing on the screen did a wonderful job. His style is very reminiscent of the 1980s synthetic style, and it's got this vibe of games like Hotline Miami, Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, and Galaxy going for it. And strangely enough, for a game that feels like a spooky episode of Freaks and Geeks, it fits. It fits very well. And if you aren't really pulled in by any of that stuff that I've just said, let me try this. Oxenfree is actually very reminiscent of The Walking Dead. Hold on, hold on, let me explain. Now for those who watch or read The Walking Dead, you can definitely agree with me when I say that while it is a series that portrays a world where zombies overrun the place, it's not necessarily about the zombies, it's more of a character study. It's about the people who survived the post-apocalypse, that is what Rick means when he says we are The Walking Dead. Oxenfree is somewhat the same. It's a story about a group of kids on a haunted island, but it's not necessarily about the haunted island, it's a character study about those kids and their relationships with one another. Now, while the game's strong suit is its writing, Oxenfree has a beautiful art style that really complements the story throughout, very much using a painterly cel-shading style to its advantage here, which you don't regularly see in games like this. Also, if anything, it complements how fluid this game really is. Like, comparing to the trailer, everything isn't as awkward or clunky as I had imagined it would be. They definitely improved on the original vision that was pitched in the trailer. Now, aside from all the nice things I've said about Oxenfree, there is one thing that has really rubbed me the wrong way. Something that I really need to talk about and just get off my chest. I wish this game was longer, man. Like, you could have beaten this game in four hours tops if you really explore everything in this game. Which sucks, because there's so much you want to do in this game. But of course the game subtly nudges you in the right direction. Not a fan of games that hold your hand like that, but I guess you can say that Oxenfree is more of a style over substance kind of game, and that's completely okay. Now honestly, after all of this, you have to ask yourself, is Oxenfree worth the $19.99 price point? Well, let me actually answer that by asking you a few counter questions. 1. Do you enjoy narrative-based games from companies like Telltale Games or Quantic Dream? 2. Do you like it when the gameplay isn't too difficult and doesn't get in the way of the narrative while still allowing you to enjoy yourself in the process? Three. Do you like having your mind fucked with? Like, do you enjoy movies or video games that intentionally make you question the lines of reality and fantasy? I went in completely blind on this one. My only real impressions on Oxenfree was that it had an interesting concept and I really wanted to give it a chance. And luckily, it delivered. 
Oxenfree is a game that, as I mentioned, is style over substance, and that style is outstanding. The game's writing is its strongest aspect, fleshing out characters making them more than just typical horror teenagers. The graphics are simple yet effective, the gameplay is very fluid, and of course the soundtrack of Oxenfree is phenomenal. Seriously consider picking this game up if you want a story that is short yet enriching and enjoyable with quirky characters and a well-rounded universe to boot. Hey guys, what's going on? Smarty here. This is the end of the Oxenfree review. Did you have any other thoughts about the game? Did you feel like it sucked? Did you like it a lot? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe when you can. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. This is Smarty, signing off.